because texturizers are great um, but you gotta know how to do it right you know okay so let's go the first one is do use Vaseline I put the texturizer in and I didn't use Vaseline and I literally broke out all over my forehead it was not pretty at all little bumps all over my forehead you want that no I don't think so do not put in the texturizer while you have product in your hair you want to wash your hair the night before if you do put the texturizer in with the product it's not gonna work do not use your own shampoo and conditioner listen to me never ever ever never please use the shampoo and conditioner that they give you in the box because your hair's pH level is very, 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 very high. The shampoo is there to lower the pH levels. Please leave it on for like three to five minutes. Trust me, they give it to you for a reason. Use it. Do not take breaks. Listen to me right now. You want to work as fast as you can, as neatly as possible. If you do take a break, your hair will end up, one side will be curlier than the other. What is this? Okay, not funny, not funny. Don't take breaks. Do not, under any circumstances, put the texturizer in and then comb out your hair like they tell you to. Don't fall for that trick, okay? If you comb out your hair, it kind of gets straight, right? You want to put the texturizer in and gently pull it so it's looser, the curl pattern is looser, not straight. I think this is the most common one. Do not put a texturizer on top of texturized hair. It can cause thinning, burning, breakage. And the last one is try not to get it directly on your scalp. Honestly, a texturizer is chemicals and it can stun your hair growth. All right guys, that's all for the video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you, thank you for watching. If you have gotten this far to the video, comment down below, pineapple. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. It will be down below. Stay tuned for this Saturday's video and yeah, I love you guys, Mwah. bye.